Yo, 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 Alex Jenkins checking in, um, still demoing, um, I have my live account, but I just, wasn't, well, you know, I just ran into a rut again, had a horrible few days, probably over a week, over a bad trades, but, uh, now, I think this is a, the, the last remainder, the AWSD trade could be the last remainder of bad trades, uh, that I took, I take um, this was a weekly a couple of days ago. It, it did get up to the price. It did get up to 775. I wasn't able to uh, take profit at that point. So it's still, so this trade is still in until tomorrow. So it's not over for this trade yet, but I think it's the remainder of my last bad trades. I have two current trades in at UOJPY uh, Euro and UOUSD. Uh, they're both in profit. I bought, uh, I bought, I got this at a very cheap price. Uh, so my uh, the probability for loss or my uh, profit, my profit, well not profit, but my margin for loss was uh very high. It's the remainder of uh, about a hundred. So it's what eighty six bucks, eighty six bucks. So you can see times that by seven. So that's a, a loss I can take. But it's such a good trade that I I got into because it's out of the money. That it's not it's hard for me to lose that trade as you see you know price is 132.49 and price is currently at 132.28 so it's a very good win so that's why i had to pay a bigger uh bigger price on the losing end but i'm currently winning this trade so and the same goes for your usd i got a pretty good price on that one up 29 dollars so that looks a lot better i bought 15 contracts i think i'm looking at the make about hmm, let's see On this trade here, I'm gonna make a 29.50 with the price I bought the contract at times 15. That's how many uh, contracts I bought. Looking to make 442.50. That's not bad. Uh, possibly gonna be end up bringing this account back with uh, a certain. Uh, strategy I've been working at. Well, I ain't gonna say strategy, but a certain trade method I've been using. I might bring this account back value back up. Uh, right now it's currently at seven thousand seven hundred, losing two thousand. Uh, I'm really thinking about just clearing that position out and starting fresh with the current balance I have. <coughs> just so I don't have to see the, the price fluctuate. You know, I can get a real uh, solid look at uh, what's going on. But uh. We'll take a look at the charts. Uh, I think I have what do I have up? Um, I have your JPY up. So you see, I entered the trade at 49. I think the market was currently somewhere in uh, 41 to 42 at the time. So I caught it at this here, and the price currently went down. So I got good market movement. It was heading towards a uh, buy zone. So I caught that movement. It got downside movement. If you can see, see this here. As you can see. Yeah, higher highs on this trade, so it's pretty good. So I'm to take a look at your USD. As well. It was moving down as well. Well I won't say moving down, it was ranging between these prices here. So we got some consolidation I call what I call uh, downside movement. My price is 70, 1770. It was up in here. So I caught this kind of stick and it just kind of continued to go down towards uh, the median of uh, 170 and 180. So let's continue this downside movement. Let's see if we can maybe trace. Let's see, it's this uh, price level at 1746, so up in that range. Or possibly go as far as uh, the last uh, week here, 1734. You never know. We did have a downside movement on this uh, trade. We had downside movement since uh, the 20th, the 21st, something up in there, the 20th. So it's been price been moving down for a while. This could be another channel that moves down here. Trading now, uh, just strictly price action, y'all. Um, no indicators, no nothing. So that's the uh, general uh, 
look at them trading. It's not really nothing special. You know, you just have to have a bit of uh, to watch price and uh, know which, which way the price is going at the current time. You're just gonna try to over over uh, predict the market. Let the market let you know what it's doing. And that's the key to uh, you know getting into good trades and uh, possibly being a consistent winner. If you have that ability. So, like, like I say, as you see what's happening, this is, these are very good trades, though. Uh, and I'm under a minute left, so we'll see. I was going to uh, try not to extend this video. I think it's going kind of long as right now as it is. Um, but I got a minute left on the way. Watch these two trades, man, and uh, we'll call it a day on that. By the way, it's uh, October uh, 5th, 2017. Um, you see the time is 6.59 in the morning, a.m. Eastern time. So I'm up pretty early. Coming through the uh, European session. Well, I woke up early as well, so right right before uh, Europe session, European session. So Caught a few trades. I think I had another victory uh, this morning. It wasn't a big victory uh, far as the profit goes, but it was a good trade. I didn't, I didn't record that trade. So it kind of started everything off. This will be my uh, two trades. This is my third trade for the day. As you can see, those trades are winning. They're going to win. See what the profits may be. It's just, Got 7,019. All right, waiting for the uh, position to uh, settle. <clears throat> the price was uh, $7,019, so we'll see how it goes. Once we uh, settle, once we settle. All right, uh, seventy nine ninety two. Uh, profit so nine hundred and seventy three dollars in profit. Awesome, awesome stuff. This kind of is gonna be coming back soon. Uh, Alex Jenkins checking out you guys.